All right. Yeah, we're back. It's fucking it's better sucks. than ever. We're back. Uh, oh. Otto from Otto, Otto and George is no longer with us. Jimmy found out about an hour ago, so it's pretty fucked up because we all knew him very well. Yeah. And he was uh, he was a true friend of the show and incredibly funny. One of the funniest. Yeah. And uh, now we sit here. Fun guy. Just watching the clock. Just like, oh, thanks. oh. This is a clock watcher now. You just sit here and go, all right, could 1030 be here now? So, what are we so we can just wander. What do we What do? we do? All I want to do is just wander. Just wander? Yeah, just want to wander. I'm going to pay tribute uh, out by my pool with a beer and um, <laughs> some sun. It's got to be tough for you because you don't like Terrible. you don't like this. Uh, no, one, no one likes it. Trust me. I don't deal with things like this well at, at all. all. We all have our individual ways of dealing with uh, these situations. Right. Mine is to trudge on like nothing happened. <laughs> Stomp it down as deep as you can. <laughs> and you got to get the other side of you as red as the front side of you. So yeah, yeah, I do have to uh, get the back of my. Um, Right. Self a little burned today. Um, Let's say hi to Keith in uh, Boston. Keith. Yo, hey, Keith. Uh, hey, buddy. Hey, I contacted Otto about a year ago on YouTube, and he, he, and he goes, Hey, you, I'm, I, I, I like hearing from fans. I'm going to send you some information. Give me your address. He sent me uh, a boy in his log, which I already downloaded from YouTube. I mean, not iTunes. And he also sent me American Dummy, which I thought, when I, when I watched it, I was blown away. I was like, this is fucking worthy of Rod Sterling. I mean, mm. and Jimmy's reaction in that fight when he spit out that water and laughed, you could tell it was not acting. It was actually a true testament of how funny Otto was, man. I don't remember. I forgot I was in that movie, yeah. Jim Brewer was in that. Yeah. Louis Black. Um, we shot no, that at the comic right. strip. Pete Corielli. Nina Torrey made out with Nina Hartley at the end. Oh, right. It was hot. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah he played a guy named Jerry, I think. I think his name was Jerry in that. Thank you, sir. All right, take it easy. No, American Dummy is a classic. It's really, really funny. Really fucking funny. Yeah, I was happy for him that he got that show mm. with the the, uh, the pig roast. Otto's right. pig roast. Oh, yeah. God, and he was doing great with that. Fucking, that segment he did where he would just read the newspaper outside with, the, with George. Right. <laughs> oh, God, was that fucking good. His take, like, his material is fucking hilarious, but his take on the news and stuff was great. He had that unique, fucked up uh, uh, viewpoint, just completely politically incorrect, which I loved. Right. Yeah. All right, we got, um, oh, wow. Hollywood Joe's checking in. What? Nice. Joe DeRosa. Hi, buddy. Hey, guys. How are you? How's it going, guys? Yeah, okay, you know. Man. It takes for someone to die for you for you to call us. Oh, huh, Joe? shit, Joe. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I poke I poke as I love, brother. You yes. know. I'm just fucking with you. I, uh, I, no, I, I woke up. I'm usually not awake this early, but uh, I, I like, couldn't sleep, and I looked on Twitter, and I saw Levy's tweets about Otto and George. I can't fucking believe it, man. I'm, I'm like, in shock right now. Yeah. What, what happened? Uh, well, that's what we're all trying to figure out. I, uh, I think we, I think Jimmy said that he, he took a nap and that was it. Uh, I will, I'm sure we'll get more info, um, later, but, uh, yeah, that fucking blows. He was so goddamn funny. Yeah, he, he, I, the thing that always blew me away about him was like when the dummy would do like his inner monologue. Yeah. And like, I, like, I, I remember seeing him at Caroline's and like, you know, he he did a joke that didn't go over that. Like Otto said a joke that didn't go over that well. And then the dummy looked at him and started going, "What are you nervous, you fucking pussy?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. It would be. It was the greatest <laughs> inner monologue reaction ever because he had the puppet, uh, and it would be very funny. Like if if a joke didn't work. Um, and Otto would just stammer something. George would go, sweat, you Danish junkie. <laughs> <laughs> Your lips are moving. You're supposed to be creating an illusion. <laughs> oh, he would just deconstruct. Nobody ever deconstructed uh, himself better than yes. fucking Otto through his puppet. <laughs> the brilliance oh, of that, you know? Funny. Nobody did uh, that better than him. 
It's so funny. I remember. I remember we did the nasty show in uh, at Just for Laughs one year, and uh, the two things I remember is one he did the he did the Kennedy bit where the puppet gets shot and the yeah. brains come out like uh-huh. Kennedy assassination, and and during it he's going he's going they're shooting Norton. They're yeah, shooting. yeah, they're shooting. Put the top up, Norton. <laughs> yeah, put the top up, Norton. They're shooting at us. <laughs> <Yeah>. So funny. <laughs> Went to a honeymoon <laughs> Right. Oh shit, that's so good, man. And then, I, and then, and then I remember Patrice was on the shows too. It was, it's so fucking sad, man. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, but Patrice was on the shows too, and we were down the theater we were in. The, the green room was downstairs under the stage, and there was this long cinder block hallway. So if anybody was coming down the hallway from the stage, you could hear it because it was just echo. And I remember Patrice was, Otto was on stage one night, and Patrice came walking down, and Patrice's cackle was like cascading <laughs> off the cinder block. And he walks in the room, and I go, what's so funny, man? And he goes, Otto, just don't give a fuck about even trying to make it look like Van Trillip. He's talking. <laughs> <laughs> I can so fucking see that. <laughs> Don't give a fuck. Oh shit, man. Oh, that's great. <laughs> hey, Joe DeRosa. Yeah. I had a yeah. Uh, I, I I forgot about this. We were talking about dreams earlier. I had a dream that Joe DeRosa was in. Oh really? Yes. And this was just really? like t- two nights ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I was. I was in this bedroom trying to uh, have sex with this girl on a mattress on the floor. And uh, you were on a bed in the same room, but it was on like a, a, a frame, bed frame, so it was a little higher up. And uh, I was trying to fuck real quiet so you wouldn't hear. But I don't know why you were in the room, what was going on. The I most, don't know why I was either. The most, uh, most unrealistic part of the dream was that I was wearing a condom. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're responsible in your dreams? I know. Why in a dream would I wear a condom? What an asshole. I don't know. But he dream rapes, Joe. But he's responsible enough to wear a condom. And the condom was was weird. The condom was making a squeaky rubber noise that I thought was going to wake Joe up. Right. Fucking odd. I like that your dream was reinforcing that you shouldn't wear condoms. Yes, that's that's the lesson. That's the lesson I grabbed out of the dream. Fuck the condoms. (laughs) I love that I was in the dream. I'm fl- I'm I, I am too. You, you got up, you walked out of the room. I was like, "Hey, Joe." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got when, away with it. That's when are you? Uh, are you plan on coming back to New York anytime soon for some beverages? Yeah, I, I think I'm going to be in New York all of July. So, oh, nice. Right. I hope. I hope I get to see you, all of you guys and uh, and hang out. And stuff. I just and cracked I, uh, just cracked the pool open, my friend. So. Uh, uh, have a party Twitter, coming man. up. I love it. Yeah, you party. Early. Yep. That's great. And we're hearing uh, we're hearing all the stories from everybody that you're a mover and shaker out there now. Oh, he's Hollywood Joe DeRosa. You're Hollywood now, Joe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Taking, yeah. taking yeah. meetings and oh. hanging out and <laughs> <laughs> hobnobbing. <laughs> a little hobnobbing I, going on. I I I I terribly miss uh, the O and A show. This it's less it's a less filthy place out here, and I don't I don't know how I feel uh, about that. It's probably very artificial I, feeling. And how's the gig going with uh, Pete Holmes? Gig's going well. Awesome. I don't know. LA's weird. It's it's been a nice experience, but I just feel like I'm supposed to live in New York. That's the best way. You know, to I've heard a saying: it's a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. <laughs> hey. You know, Ant, if I had a time, I'll tell you. Oh, God. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, can, I, can I tell you guys my favorite auto story? Yeah. Then, oh, you scared please. me. I thought you were going to say, can I plug something? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, we usually, we've heard that so many times. Hey, can I? Uh, yeah, of course, Joe. Go ahead. <laughs> the, uh, oh, my boss. <laughs> Listen, it's real sad. Can I just say my CD is out right now? <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, this is my favorite auto story. He's a he's a Carolines uh, and he's on stage, obviously. And um, there's a guy sitting to the left of the stage, and it's like this big Italian guy. Dude, the guy's got to weigh 400 pounds. He's just huge, but he's wearing this checkered sport coat. And uh, Otto's on stage, and he's doing a bit, and the dummy. Like isn't you know isn't paying attention, and in the middle of the bit, the fucking dummy just looks over at the fat guy and he just goes, 
Jesus fucking Christ. How much? What size is that sport coat, you fucking zilch? <laughs> 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 and it would seem like, oh, my God, why is the puppet saying that when Otto was in the middle of doing something? Like, you, For somebody who moved his lips when he talked, uh, working that puppet, you were completely uh, fooled into thinking it was a different oh, entity. absolutely. You know, it was a different fucking person. Absolutely. He was yeah, twittering yeah. out a lot of old photos recently, too, like stuff from, like, the 70s. Um, wow. Really, like when he was 15, 14 years old. If you see his old, his Twitter timeline, um, there's some uh, really good pictures. Really yeah. Sad. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm going to look at it. If, if you guys find anything out, well, why don't you text me? I'm going to keep looking online. Yeah, we'll let, we'll let you know, Joe. Absolutely, man. Yep. Cool. Well, you guys always, uh, you guys always, you know showcased him and supported him and that was awesome and it's a bummer that he's it's a real fucking bummer that yeah he's a bummer. absolutely yeah. all right man hopefully but, I'll, yeah. I'll see you in uh see you in july at some point i'll see you guys in july man i miss all you and I'll, I'll i see i'll see you soon sounds cool, great joe. joe take it easy man take care guys all right buddy later oh, what a fucking asshole <laughs> it's like doing that right when this thing it's good when the phone clicks. Wow, what an asshole. A lot no, of people, Joe's great. I miss that guy. Yeah, a lot of people want to talk about Otto. Uh, Ike in Washington. Go ahead, buddy. Hey, guys. Hey. I, uh, to tell you how long I've seen this guy, 1993, I was doing, uh, uh, it was my prom, and I see this uh, this guy. I have no idea up. who he is. And uh, he he was so funny, I almost knocked over the table. It, the, the guy was just amazing. But uh, a couple of years ago, I saw like a YouTube uh, thing on him where he was on Howard's show, and he, he was killing, but he, he said something like, oh, I suck, I suck. So I don't know, maybe Jimmy could, could elaborate on this, but was, was, was there any, you know, instability or something? I mean, I, I don't know. The, the Did you just ask Otto. if there was any instability with Otto? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I there was. I, mean, I, of I, I, I said I said maybe like five words to the guy when I uh, used to see him down at either the Comedy Cellar or I saw him in uh, the Midwest one day. But uh, you know, I, he, he was he was he was like my idol when when I saw him. I was starstruck. I, I, I swear to God, because he was yeah. the funniest guy. You know, when when you saw him on um, uh, the Aristocrats, you know, it was only like a minute and fifteen that he was on. But you know, he says. I bring out my daughter. She's a real sexy nine-year-old. I kill her. I fuck the ball. And all. I mean, it, 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 you, have, you have no time to, to to register how funny this guy is. Yeah. It's a sad day. Does, does anyone know what happened? No, we don't know yet. We no. truly don't know, brother. No. Jimmy yet. literally just found out in the middle of our show. He uh, ran out of here to take a phone call, and we, we all knew that can't be good. Oh, boy. So. Well, listen, I'm punching out. I love you guys. Love you, brother. Thank you, sir. All right, man. Later, bye, bye. later, man. Bye. There he goes, a caller, Ike from Washington. Godspeed. Oh, he's still on. <laughs> oh, I do we have um, more Otto and George clips, Sam? Anything else? Did we find anything else? Still digging around, digging through everything right now. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. All right. Uh, let's go to John in Poughkeepsie. John. Hey, guys. Hey, buddy. Hello. Uh, R.I.P. Um, it's going to be weird to see, like, I mean, George was such a personality that he's going to be he's going to be sitting in a box somewhere and maybe never taken out again. You think, like, it's almost human kind of a person. <laughs> and he's, is he dead? You're, that is a weird somebody? thing. It's kind yeah, of, you well, know. Will, I, he, I, will he just disappear? or Because he made him so more mortal <laughs> that it's like yeah wow, yeah we're gonna lose george too <clears throat> yeah no one can else can fucking use him <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like so fucking freaky. just kind of a weird thing yeah george, yeah, go george goes with otto yeah yeah well, period okay that's a strange concept do you think that if, would I, be if otto yeah. had a, if otto had a will i have no idea i, I, I would guarantee yeah. that's a will yeah george but goes with guys, me you know there's only one thing to say get over it well yeah, I know. In, in <laughs> but time, perhaps. But there's uh, a time, you know. You guys yes. make so much fun of so many, but it's weird when it hits you. Eh. You almost feel like you guys can't. I mean, I know you're going to joke about it, 
but it's so. I mean, I remember you guys talking. You're panicking, about sir. I lost oh, somebody. You're, you're, you're panicking. Like, Why are you panicking? Because the get over it thing didn't work that well. Yeah, yeah. Because now you're panicking <laughs> on us. That's exactly what it was. I get it. We would have done the same thing. Yeah, we would play get over it. Man, but all right, yeah. all right. Wish them all the best. All right, peace. Stop panicking, please. please. Thank you. Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tony in Brooklyn. Tony, did your testicles get hit by a storm window? Mushan. That might be one of the funniest clips ever played, and I I downloaded it when it was on. Uh, uh, what do you call it, the free? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Man, I loved all your old clips, and man, he was a star at EW. Man, we uh, oh, man. we've all gone back and forth the greatest live read ever, and it was always between Adam and George and uh, Brewers raise a rollerboard scooter one. Yeah, between those two, I I can't even think of a third that would be in that category. Those were just amazing. Was there a time when Pat from Winaki went down on a girl in our studio? Maybe. Yeah. So that's what I'm getting here. It says, and Otto was there, and he said, it's like watching Tor Johnson bobbing for gonorrhea. Oh, he definitely <laughs> said that. That was actually one of your lines of the day right there. He definitely <laughs> said that. Tor Johnson <laughs> bobbing for gonorrhea. Holy fuck, is that funny. Yeah. Lisa Sparks? Lisa Sparks. Is that uh, right? Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right. Yes, right. Thank you, you Arab. Uh, let's go to Ernesto, looks like. Staten Island. Hey, Oprah, it's hey. sad day, man. Sad day. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Uh, I had heard about this guy who with, was a ventriloquist with a filthy puppet. A couple, and then about a year later, you guys had him on for Anthony's birthday. And they did, the, and you guys did the Mujan commercial. Yeah. I still, I, I have that yeah, on, on, I, I bootlegged it. just played it. it. <laughs> that is still one of the funniest, oh, you did? I, I yeah. found it on the radio, guys, sorry. Oh, yeah, That's oh, right. okay. I thought you were commenting about it because we just played it. Yeah, yeah, we just, yeah. We just played it for yeah, everybody. That was, uh, that was a classic from uh, the second uh, it was done. I knew that one was like, oh, my God. Right. What a fucking pisser. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I, I'm sure if, if you, uh, when you find out any information, you'll tweet it out. Uh, it just... Sad day, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go shoot my ex-wife in the head and fuck oh. the bullet hole just for him. Oh, nice. All right, that's wonderful. Thank you, Ernest, Ernesto. Ernesto, I am Ernesto. Oh, this fucking woman. Oh. that mug shot. The woman accused of killing seven babies she birthed over ten years. She's got a hell of a mug shot there. It looks like, huh? Huh? Me? It's just amazing. Wait, wait, Some twisted motherfuckers out there. Wait, it, it wasn't all at the same time? No, Obviously, no. If, if they're calling it seven babies? Over ten years. Over ten she, years? Uh, I guess she didn't want to have, uh, you know, those babies. Right. So she uh, had them and then killed them. And no one knew until now? I guess not. She's a weird-looking bitch. she got them crazy How eyes. long would the babies survive before she decided they were evil or whatever the fuck? Nah, nah. Nah, nah. Yeah, when do... When do how crazy do you have to be? Like, does that does it come up how crazy you are for how long you wait before you realize your baby's the devil or something right. and have to get rid of it? Oh. Uh. E. Let's see. Let's say hi to Corey in Yonkers. Corey. Yes, Corey. Hey, guys. How are you? All right. All right. No, I just went to like, one of the first times I ever saw Otto was in 1990 or 91 in Yonkers at a place called Shooting Stars. Oh yeah. Oh man. And it was and it was owned by Grandpa Al, I think at the time. Oh sure. Right. And no, I mean I was only like eighteen, nineteen years old, and they would let you in. And just the impact that he had on me, he was one of the funniest people I ever saw. From then on, you would always keep seeing him. You know, even though his act mostly didn't change over the past twenty something years. I think there were a few new ones in there. But that night, the girl I was with was just a very conservative girl, and boy, did I get him an earful coming out that night. And especially, oh, really? when she got, especially she got up and decided to go to the bathroom during his set. I think it, I think Otto was very particular because he absolutely came up with new stuff all the time. But it was it was it was small. There was a line or or two. You know what I mean? But every time he had something new, it killed every time, every fucking yeah. time. 
Oh yeah, I must have seen him at least you know five or six times over all the years and stuff like that. And just yeah, some of the stuff was the same, and a lot of you know some of the stuff was new. But yeah, just every time. But here's one of those. Him. Here's one of those comics too that you could go and see him do some of the same stuff because you wanted to watch the reaction of the crowd. Like you knew what was coming, so right. you're like, oh fuck, I want to see like how they what handle this, this bag up front is gonna right. gonna do when when that line comes out, you know. Right. Right, but one time that always got me, I forgot where the heck it was, some place in New Jersey. And I guess he was getting ready to go up, and he was sitting behind me with George. And I guess he was warming up, but they were basically having a conversation with each other. Yeah, yeah, we we all saw a little of that over yeah. the years. Yeah. I, used to, I, I used to bring him on stage sometimes because he hated when you refer to the puppet as a wooden pal or wooden friend oh so just to annoy him <laughs> oh, i would no. go on stage sometimes and saying please welcome otto and his wooden buddy george because <laughs> he hated being introduced like did, <laughs> did he say something when you left the stage and he took the mic i don't remember I, I, I know that he just probably he something under his breath despised it cocksucker mother <laughs> thing, i'm sure <laughs> yeah yeah he really loathed it <laughs> yeah there was, there was one time i was sitting up close and i used to be really friggin fat i mean i lost like 170 pounds over the past year yeah, congrats but, but yeah thank you but he looked at me or the puppet looked at me and just looked at me like ring ding just out of nowhere he would just do that it was so funny when he would just stop what he was saying and then george would jump in but you're like no that's him right he's doing the whole thing <laughs> yeah but genius I share that guy i'm sorry to hear about you know yeah, oh. oh my God! Everyone, everyone's sad. Are you Maybe kidding me? Gra he would grab like George's arm or yeah. the, or the, the lapel of yeah. of George's little jacket and be like, "No, George!" and pull him up. Right. <laughs> Take your hands off me, cocksucker! Yes. Take your hands off yeah. me! <laughs> Stop touching me! Oh, All right, fucking crazy! Yeah. All right, Corey, thanks. Sweat, uh, you Danish junkie! <laughs> oh, that made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what a great fucking jab at himself. We got uh, Mike Francesa. He was a huge fan of Otto. I don't think. Uh, What's up, really boys? Uh, my condolences, man. Yeah, he's fucking one of my favorites, man. He seriously. Uh, yeah. one of the he's one of the comedians that fucking you can tell his like repeat his material. Somebody can repeat their his material to you. Like oh, I saw Otto at uh, George, and it actually was fucking funny, like coming from somebody else. Yeah, I'm very right. Very yeah, time. yeah, you're right. Yeah. And. uh fucking so funny that I was listening recently to like the old N.E.W. days and fucking he wasn't even in the studio just had doing the impression of, of George you guys were fucking with Dice and uh Dice was like who is that is that Otto in there and, and, and Ant's doing a puppet he's going no it's just George and Dice's like oh they split up what happened to them you know what I mean like, <laughs> <laughs> oh they split up what happened to them <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah Dice obviously knows how to go with a good bit <laughs> exactly <laughs> right Fucking great, man! But like I said, man, one of my favorites, and you know, and it just uh, it, it sucks. Somebody mentioned that uh, you know, like the life of wrestlers, man. The comedians are right up there, man. You know, oh, all, the, all the good ones go. You know what I mean? So, like right I said, uh, I didn't do the stupid voice today, so I just wanted to fucking you know, say I'm sorry, to you fellas. Uh, talk to you guys later. All right, thanks, Mike. What's, what's what's I don't even know his voice? real name. I just know him as <laughs> yeah. Mike Francesa. Exactly. That was kind of cool. Him out of character. Yeah. Uh, Otto and George on uh, The Late Show with David Letterman. We should play this. He wow. was very funny on that. This he was around, uh, yeah, okay, 2007-ish? They, they did Ventriloquist Week. Right. Oh, wow. And uh, Otto yeah. was the last one. I think it was kind of a slam at Ventriloquist, but he did really huh. well on Letterman. He worked very well clean. Wow. wow. Yeah, let's, uh, let's play this right now for Otto. Thank you. It's great to be here. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I just hope to God you don't curse. Nah, I'm not going to curse. Happy Valentine's Day. And look, I got a big heart on. <laughs> Would you like to touch it? No, 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 thanks. Uh, just take this off here. Yeah, uh, you look good. Nice shirt. I didn't know Ted Bundy had a catalog. <laughs> uh. So, uh, what do you got planned for, uh, Valentine's Day? Well, me and my girlfriend like to eat, you know? So I'm gonna take her to a nice restaurant for a romantic, candlelit dinner, followed by a smooth elevator ride up to the room, and then I'm gonna watch the Letterman show. Well, of course, yeah. And if she talks when it's on, I'm gonna crack her skull open with an ashtray. <laughs> uh, that sounds real romantic. <clears throat> Just don't curse. Yeah, I can't curse that entertainment tonight can show Britney Spears Velcro when she's getting out of the car with no underwear on. Uh, 
I can't believe we're here at the Ed Sullivan Theater. This is just amazing, the history here, you know, Elvis Presley, Jim Morrison. Yeah, both dead. Speaking of dead, are they storing the bodies in here? I'm freezing. It's freezing in here. It's cold outside. This gig sucks. All right. Oh, my God. The Statue of Liberty has the torch under her dress. All right. Uh, ventriloquist week. Yeah. You know they're mocking our profession? Yeah, Letterman over there, the skinny guy. Looks like Audrey Hepburn. No, he looks good. You should eat something. You can afford it. Have a gyro, pal. Uh, he looks like he should be a bouncer at a salad bar. All right, that's enough. Uh, by the way, I like you in Cabin Boy. That was your best work since Mork and Mindy. It's like De Niro without the talent. All right, come on. Uh, Paul Schaefer. Yeah, he looks good. Your barber call. The turtle wax is in. All right, stop that. Does your head slide off the pillow at night? Uh, he's like Letterman's puppet. Who's working your head? All right, be nice, George. By the way, I drive a taxi here in New York. Anybody recognize me? <laughs> Hey, George, uh, have you ever had anybody really famous in your taxi? Yeah, I had former governor of New York, Pataki, in the cab. What kind of name is Pataki? It sounds like something you stepped in on the way to the car, you know? <laughs> hey, that's Pataki. Walk around it. Hey. <laughs> Mommy, I made a Pataki. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who else have you had? I had uh, McGreevy, the governor of New Jersey. I made him right up front. He ain't sitting behind me. <laughs> Uh, why don't you leave him alone? It's an alternative lifestyle. Yeah, right. Being Amish is an alternative lifestyle. All right. Uh, what did the black lesbian say to the white lesbian? You the man! All right. All right. Hey, George, did you, uh, did you see Brokeback Mountain? Yeah. What'd you think? Loved him, hated him. All right. You know the original title of that was A Fistful of Testicles? All right, no way. Uh, we better hurry up. We got four minutes and they're throwing us out of here. Try getting in this building tomorrow, Geppetto. All right. George, do you like plane travel? Oh, man, it sucks. Every time I get in an airplane, I'm never sitting next to a cute girl. I'm always sitting next to some old guy that wants to talk, you know? Where you from? Where you going? Where am I going? Look at your ticket. That's where we're all going. <laughs> oh, man. I'd like to sing a song for Valentine's Day. This is the love song from the movie Jaws. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm not half the man I used to. <laughs> good crowd, right? Yeah, and Sonny Bono's a good skier. All right. <laughs> I love Jaws. Jaws was a great movie. Remember the opening scene in Jaws? This drunk girl goes swimming naked. I'm drunk. Get out of the water. Get out of it. And then you hear, da dun, da dun. Come on, the water's great. Dun 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 dun. Doesn't this broad hear the music? Get out of the water. That shark music. All right. Hey, is anybody here from New Jersey? New Jersey. Kill yourself! <laughs> what a polluted dump New Jersey is! No. New Jersey, where a fart is refreshing. <laughs> Seriously. Here's a poem I wrote about Jersey. It's called Pollution. It's a poem. Go ahead. I shot an arrow into the air. It stuck. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. Jeez. Yeah, you did very well there. That was a that was a ballsier set than most comics have ever right? done on that show. Sure, fistful of testicles. Fistful of it's testicles. Funny, man. Sonny Bono's a good skier. <laughs> he was brutal. <laughs> try getting into this. Try getting into this building tomorrow. <laughs> that's, that's a great. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. What did he say? Loved him, hated, hated him. him. Loved him, hated him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's 
freaking sucks. Yeah. Yeah, damn. And that was a great set. And I, I remember we were all were a little excited for uh, Otto. Like, okay. Yeah. Now this is going to like really push him, you know, forward, forward. Yeah. To more places. Absolutely. So. Oh. Uh, <laughs> let's take a look. I always take a peek down the hall. <laughs> What's the matter, Sam? Nothing. Oh. How are you going to do your after show today? What do you mean, how? Well, you know, very hard to get through these moments. I don't think you're professional enough to, um, you know, rise to the occasion. Well, I mean, talk about auto. Oh, boy. Reflect. Yeah. <laughs> Reflecting. And then, if, you know, worst case scenario, I'll try to get... Sal and E-Rock to fight about something. That's always a good, that's always a good go-to. Yeah. <laughs> you need your go-tos. You yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> People um, want us to play the yoo clip with Otto and Jay, but that was... Like, yeah. They were, yeah, that wasn't really a showcase of... No. Uh, it was accusations and... Yeah. Yes. Uh, whatever. Most came to fisticuffs. Not really. Uh. All right. We certainly could call it, so. Well. If you want, we can end on a four-minute clip. What do you got? Uh, I have Big A and the Johnny Ola murder. It's 4.15. <laughs> Sounds funny enough, Eric just from the title. It's good. Johnny Ola. Yeah. Hey, Johnny Ola, take me here. Uh, oh, that one was great. Stupid Fredo. Yeah, it's fine. So, um, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, Just, we're going to try the Johnny Ola murder on Big A. Because you know how they, they, they do this, the, the, the Mythbusters? I, it doesn't look like you could snap somebody's neck with a wooden hanger. That that fucking bottom part is pretty frail. Yeah, so yeah. I'm going to try <laughs> I'm gonna try and murder Big A John, on the next like Johnny show. Ola? Yeah. I'm going to see if that'll work. Otto's a huge Who fan killed, of Big A. Johnny Ola <laughs> was killed with the hanger, or he killed somebody. He was killed with it. It was, yeah. the, it was the bodyguard, the old man bodyguard. It, yeah, the guy that never didn't even smiled. have a name. Or yeah, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Was it he Rocco like Lampo? Or no? Yeah, uh, the bodyguard. I don't remember, but when they, I think it was when they told Michael your bodyguard is dead. He had no reaction. He just went. So where'd you get my kid for Christmas? <laughs> it's like, yeah. No feeling. I'm glad I'm here with with movie aficionados. <laughs> yes. Uh, here's a quick before you go. Mm -hmm. Five minutes left. Yeah. Godfather question. Yeah. yeah. Original Godfather. Okay. How did? And I'm, this is not a quiz, but how did uh, uh, the, the father? Uh, yeah. Don Corleone. Don Corleone. Right. How did he know after that meeting when he said, I did not know to this day that it was, it Barzini. was Barzini? How did he know? What happened in the meeting for him to know that it was Barzini the whole time? I knew he said it and he figured mm -hmm, it out. Mm -hmm. But what? What instance happened for you to for you to go back and go? Oh, this is what happened for I, him to know. That was I, probably the one question everyone. I think it was has. him the way Bartini manipulated the meeting, and uh, and ran the meeting and made it happen. I think the what Bartini just he was just a smart guy. And he was too agreeable. And he was like too agreeable. Too agreeable. And he, and agreeable. And he said the, a refusal is not the act of a friend. Yeah. Uh, if he has them, he must share them. Yeah, and I yeah. think that was probably it. It was probably that subtle way he led that meeting yeah. and got Don Corleone to concede his point right, that he yes. had been fighting with Tatalia about. And I think that's what so he So it was never a moment. It just was an overall theme. Was, yeah, oh, perceptive. A, yeah. a mobster hunch yeah, that he's he a smart knew guy. from, you know, growing up. Watch The Godfather 2. And, and I'm saying, because yeah. he could Those charge for such services. You just on a maybe that you're On a maybe, something. right, right. You know, better, be, better, better. I didn't know till this day. Well, I kind of know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fuck him anyway. Yeah, he didn't pass the ketchup uh, that one time, so fuck him. Why, why take a chance? <laughs> yeah. But he said, he, said, uh, he goes, uh, he could question, charge though. for these services. He's not, we're not communists. I think just the way he led it and, and made it happen. Yeah, yeah. Tipped him off. Yeah. Right, good enough. That helps me to watch it again. And want it. The drugs done. Yeah, I think yeah. it also said that Bartini wanted the drugs sold. Yeah. Um, because I think that some he, real grease ball shit. He might have thought yeah. that Bartini <laughs> would side with him on no drugs. Right. Um, right. But when Bartini said that, that indicated that he was on the side of the drugs being sold. Yeah. Yeah. But didn't yeah, they that's kill? True. But that's didn't true. they kill yeah, yeah. any uh, everybody uh, anyway? They yeah. Killed, they yeah. wound up killing Michael everybody, did. right? Michael, Michael did. did. And oh, Michael he knew did. he could yeah. make that oath. That swear that oath. Don and Michael Cole would do it. He yeah. knew Michael would do it.
Yeah, Don Corleone didn't have even to do Even Stracci, anything. who I have no idea who the yeah. fuck that was. Stracci, Stracci. When, he, when he tells him, yeah. Stracci. Who's Stracci. that? What? Like, like, me, I cleaner. thought he was all itchy Stracci. and stuff. It's like Stracci. Dry cleaner. <laughs> 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 you didn't fucking Stracci. I bet he's Stracci. He's going through the names and he hears Stracci. You're like, who? Who the fuck was Stracci? Yeah, he probably killed him when it was his head or something. So it was no definitive thing that happened then? No. No, I don't think there was right. one moment where no, they, 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 they... It wasn't such a blatant thing. I think it would have been corny if it was this blatant, yeah. like, yeah. ha-ha, well, where he looked and curled his mustache well, and his fingers... Well, like he Michael had his fingers when, crossed when, when he went, yeah, the pieces, yeah. 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 When, yeah. Mike, when Michael found out Fredo did it, it was kind of a moment of dun-dun, like, that yeah. happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't like, oh, shit. Like, it was like, right. yeah. he fucked up, he lied. So I thought it was like, might, maybe a moment there where yeah, he Johnny fucked Johnny Ola took me here. Oh, Johnny Ola showed What an asshole Fredo is. Yeah. No, no, we never met. I never. No, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then, like five minutes later, ah, oh, me and yeah. Johnny Ola. Yeah, Johnny fucking comes here all the time. Yeah. What, what an idiot. idiot! Fucking dummy beluga whale, far-headed fuck. <laughs> then Michael. <laughs> <laughs> then Michael kissed him. I was like, what? Are you still getting fresh? <laughs> all right. <Yeah. laughs> it's fucking Friday. I ain't putting up with this shit. <laughs>